We're on now. So we can. Okay. Let's see. I guess we're here. Okay. Right here is when I finally noticed it and it flew off right into the middle and it just started running and stopped right down there in the middle of the road. It was up just a couple more yards though. Okay, well let's go find him. Yeah, I got the net too. So hopefully we can find him. The problem with this brush here is uh, they can lay down still and Almost impossible to see them unless they move. Maybe between us all we'll see them. Oh, there he is. I see him. He's flying a little bit. You start going this way. Time to get my exercise. Looked like a juvenile. Yeah, it looks like a juvenile. I got him here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Get in high gear. I can catch this guy. Pretty good chase. We got you, kid. We got you. Here we go. I got him, Sue. Okay, pretty boy. Yep. You're a pretty little young eagle. Yes, you are. It's a golden eagle. It's a, it's a juvenile. It's a young one. This came out, just came out of the nest. You're really skinny. Can I pet it? Just right here on the head. Should I take off my gloves? Sure. Wow. Okay. Oh, can I cut him? Here's our little guy. Oh. He's no, big. Golden, what kind this, of eagle this is, is a it? golden eagle. This is a young golden that's oh. he's star he's really skinny. He's starving to death. Oh. Bas basically he got separated from mom and dad. Oh. This this one This one just barely left the nest. Oh he's so pretty. So, good thing we you guys. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, bite or? they do bite. Uh, ba ba basically, the bottom line is uh, another day or two, he'd been dead. Oh, wow. So, I'm glad we came out here. Surprised. Yep. So, that's kind of. Yeah, we didn't know who to call, so we just called 911. Yeah, and. I know that you can't kill him. So and then like, dispatch calls me. If it's, a, if it's an eagle, then it's, you know. So, I figured I'd call. <laughs> Yep. That was a good call. I'm glad you did. You've had a kind of a rough time, haven't you, little guy? But we're gonna get you patched up, I promise. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's probably a good thing, so then nothing to do. 
I tried to rev my engine and then he just he didn't okay, want to leave. It's okay, little guy. We'll get you. We'll get you a big meal here, just a little bit. I promise. And that's when I figured he was hurt or something. Yeah, he's he's just a youngster that Are got you separated. Can take a picture of him so I can show my mom. Sure. Yeah. You guys don't have a camera on you? No, no I don't. No, it's back okay. in our truck. Okay. Let me pause for a second here with the video. And... All right, come on. This is about a two and a half, three month old golden eagle that, uh, hey sweetie, that was starving to death. Hi. And uh, he's in pretty weak. I'm gonna have to grab him before he grabs me, aren't I? Come here, there we go. There's my baby. There's the baby. We got you. You are just cute as a bug, but you're so skinny. You gonna be okay, sweetie? Come on, let's get you some food. Oh, it's all right. Shh. Let's get you some food, sweetheart. Now, let me get this thing turned down so we can, you can see what I'm working on here. I don't know if you can see it from this camera angle or not, but. Let me peek up over your head. You're probably fine that way. Okay, first thing we gotta do is fluids. And uh, that's the most important thing. So let's see if we can get you, open your mouth, sweetie. Open your mouth for me. I've got to get this all the way back, back the, so it doesn't end up going into the lungs. There we go. Is that we're not back? I think so. Just little by little. Yeah, fluids are the most important thing at this moment. There we go, sweetie. There we go. Yeah, keep swallowing. There's my little guy. Yes, you are. Yeah, you're in pretty rough shape. You are. But we're gonna keep you going here. There you go, keep swallowing. There we go. This is my secret recipe. That's not so secret, you've shared it. I've shared it with a lot of people. This, this has worked really, really well for me. This is a Pedialyte and uh, Nutristat, which, uh, Gives a lot of fluids, a lot of nutrition really, really fast. Yeah, you're feeling pretty terrible, aren't you, sweetheart? We're gonna get you some food in you. There you go. There you go, okay. Yeah. But actually, even better than the Pedialyte, you have no flavoring to worry about, is that chick starter. It's the electrolytes with the vitamins. Right. Pretty much the same thing. Same thing. So we're gonna start here with a lead, with a mouse. Okay, let's get that, can you swallow that, sweetheart? Okay, there's one piece. This is where I normally get bit. There you go, two pieces. Okay, I'm swallowing. Yeah. There you go, three pieces. Good boy. Yeah, you haven't had anything to eat for probably a week, you poor thing. So a little food tastes good, huh? There we go. There we go. There we go. That's my baby. What a pretty boy. What a pretty little boy you are. Okay, take it. Swallow it down. Okay, this just gets him a, a real fast start with, a, like I said, a little bit of fluids and then uh, mice pretty much cut in half to, so I can get him down him okay. There we go. And you even pour a little of that uh, fluid over the mice before you feed them. Helps them slide down, don't you think? I do. I do. So, so yeah, the mice are kind of soaked and wet and, and slippery. And so that helps a little bit as well. And there you go. Can you take that, sweetie? There's my boy. What a pretty little boy you are. 
Okay. There we go. And one more. One more piece. There you go. Okay, so that that's um, that's first meal. There's no injuries to him that we can find. Like I said, he's just a young male that was separated from mom and dad, and, and he's out on the desert starving to death. But he's with me now, so that's the starving part is over. And now we just have to get him strong. You know, he's not out of the woods yet. You know, he's still really, really weak. And sometimes their digestive system shuts down and they can't feed well enough. And they, and they end up just not surviving. But I've sure saved a lot of them in this bad a condition, some even worse. So we'll just kind of see how, how this little guy goes. It's cool out here. It's shady you know, out in this flight chamber. I did. The big female I released two, two days ago, she was with us for two and a half months. And so it's this guy's turn to use the chamber. There we go, little boy. Oh, there we go. There's my boy. Okay. Well, now it's just, it's up to him now. If he's willing to fight hard enough to stay alive. If we can keep him alive for two or three days, he'll, he'll be... He'll be successful and he'll be ready to return to the wild, oh, probably mid to late August. So, hopefully, keep your fingers crossed, everybody. Well, good morning. It's uh, 7 o'clock and we've got our new patient right here going in. Got our new little patient. This is uh, our young male golden eagle that we rescued last night uh, out at Three Peaks, which is uh, out to the uh, out to the west of us, uh, out by the old iron mine. And he's not happy, but he's he's doing okay. So let's go ahead and see if I can. Grab my little friend. Isn't he just the cutest little thing you ever saw? Yes, yeah, how they be? There we go. How we doing, huh? How we doing? Let's see if we can get this down your throat so we can get you some more fluid. You'll feel better with more fluids in you. There we go. Come on. Come on, baby. There we go. Right spot. There's my there's my boy. Okay. Nice and easy. Yeah, nice and easy little guy. There we go. Yeah. Give you a little drink. Mm -hmm. That's my boy. There we go. Turn more your way so you can see him a little bit better here. There we go. Come on. There we go. There's my pretty little boy. Well, I don't know if you can see, but right, you know, his tongue kind of forks back a little bit. And right behind the little fork, um, that's the the air the airway. That's where he breathes, and uh, we have to get the fluid past that because we don't want this to go in his lungs. And so we give him just tiny bits to, to start with, so he swallows. Very very patiently. There's my baby. There you go. Such a good boy. Yes, you are such a good boy. He 
he's not in as bad a shape as so many of them that uh, we find this time of year. And basically, these these eagles are young, and um, they get separated from their mom and dad at, at this age, and they don't know how to feed themselves, they don't know how to hunt, and they end up out in that hot desert just starving to death. And that's really a sad thing, but it is part of the way it works. And so, all right, sweetie, here we go. Yeah. Get this in. Come on. Such a pretty boy. Oops. There we go. There we are. There you go. Go give a nice breakfast this morning. There you go. What a good boy. That's a good boy. Good boy. Well, if I'm lucky, uh, hand feeding him like this, I, I had to hand feed him last night. And uh, this morning, but if I'm lucky, he'll be able to uh, feed himself from now on. But he won't be uh oops. you know the, the goal is as little human contact as possible. I think yeah well, that was a good pinch. Yes it was that was a good pinch. Come up up here. Let's get your head up so I can see you. Here we go. You pull out on your own, sweetie? You haven't had much to eat for a few days. Oh. There we go. There we go. Do you want him to stay, to, to be wild, to stay wild, to have as little contact with humans as is we can get away with. That's my boy. What a good boy. What a good boy. Yeah. One more. There we go. There we go. Isn't that wonderful? Last piece. Okay. There's my boy. Such a pretty boy. Okay. You've had your breakfast. Let you go now, my little friend. There we go. Yeah, the world's a scary place for him. Now he he can walk and he can stand, but he's pretty he's pretty terrified. It's a lot of stress um, coming into captivity and, and being hand fed and have a feeding tube shoved down your throat. But all in all, I, I think he's doing well. The Southwest Wildlife Foundation of Utah is a nonprofit organization dedicated to wildlife rescue and rehab, education, and the development of the Cedar Canyon Nature Park. Our founder, Martin Tyner, is a federally licensed falconer, rehabber, propagator, and educator with over 50 years of experience. If you would like to learn more or help us help critters, please visit www.gowildlife.org.
And you can see up on the upper perch we have our juvenile bald eagle. They're fair, the, the bald eagle's a little bit larger, but the golden eagle is certainly close enough in size, and they both had, have plenty of food available to them. And so hopefully they'll, they'll get along and won't have any real issues. Our golden's curious, but he looks like they're going to be okay. So as long as they get along together, this is a lot more room and, and they'll, they'll do much better in here. Good. For the kids to come in and, and do this. Okay. This is always, you know, you, you hate to handle these guys any more than you absolutely have to. Uh, they can hurt themselves, and we don't want that to happen. So, the the goal is here is to catch them with as little stress as possible, uh, especially the one that's highest. Come here, Kato. Come on. Come on, Bev. Come on. Come on. There we go. We got you. We got you, baby. I got you. Shh, 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 shh. We got you. Okay, there's one foot. Where's the other foot? There's the other foot. Hi, sweetie. We got you. Boy, that was pretty harmless. That's great. That's the first one. Oh, there's my baby. This is this one right here that we just caught is the one that's going to be released here next week. It's doing wonderful, and we're excited to get him put back in the wild. So, uh, and then we have our female golden as well, and our male bald, young male bald. Okay, guys. Shh. Need to go the other way. Sorry, sweetie. You gotta go that way. Go that way. There we are. Okay, can you let me out, Sue? Okay. She's a, such a good baby. Yes, you are. Okay. Okay, sweetheart. Now this is uh, one of our old, old facilities that needs to get torn down or replaced. And I'm glad I didn't tear it down yet because we need this to move these eagles in temporarily. And so this is just a very, very temporary situation right now. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay. That's one. Okay, well, a good day. Get to release an eagle back for a while. Very fortunate to be able to do that. I get to do my job. Close this. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Hey, my little boy. You got him. He's done that before. Does it look like I've done it a few times before? <laughs> a few. A couple times. Yeah. yeah. It's like it. Oh, I know, baby. Yes. We're going bye bye. You get to go back to the wild where you belong, sweetie. There we go. Okay. Really, one of the big secrets is um, don't hesitate. Do it fast. Do it fast. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's less stress for them. And uh, hey, kiddo, such a beautiful guy. Oh, you're handsome. Mm -hmm. Now the reason for this, this is called a hood, and basically it just blindfolds them so when we're transporting they, they don't get overly stressed. And, and so that's, that's what the hood is for. And uh, he's such a good little kid. Love him to death. Oh boy. Well, shall we get you in your box and get you up, up to the mountain and turn loose?
You're a fatty. You've been eating good. You like that. Okay. Yeah. You look wonderful. I love this. You look a wonderful kiddo. Okay. Sorry. I did latch the gate and put the lock back on it. Thank you. have this Subaru, the only small SUV that this, this will fit in. And, and they're actually one of my corporate sponsors as well, so we appreciate that quite a bit. Hey, well. Uh, and he's good and healthy. We've had him for a couple of months and he's ready, ready to be released. Now, here's kind of the deal. Uh, I, I think you're my victim, I believe. <laughs> Is that right, Bob? Yes, I am. Okay. Well, this this eagle has 600 pounds per square inch of crushing power on his feet. And so you do exactly what I tell you. <laughs> yes, sir. And you will be perfectly safe. Um, and and what, what we'll do is I'll, I'll get him out of the box, and then all of us are going to walk down the trail, but just get in front of the fence so you don't have to try to lift him over the fence. And, um, and then I'm going to hand him to you, and you can... Yeah, and the way I'm going to hand him to you is I'm going to have you put your hand straight out in front of you. And I'm going to take the eagle, I'm going to put it, push him his back against your chest. You're going to wrap your arms around him. You're going to grab the right foot with the right hand, left foot with the, right, with the left hand. And you're going to kind of hold him, kind of snuggled in against you. And, and, um, and then when you're ready, I will take the hood off. Don't want to throw him with the hood off, that's bad. I'll take the hood off so he can see. And then take take a minute. Uh, feel, feel his breathing. He feel his heartbeat. You know this is um, truly it's it, it is a once in a lifetime deal. Uh, it, you and you will be the last person on the planet to ever touch you. And and so that's that's how how this works. You know there's a common belief among many native people that if you say your prayers with an eagle feather, the eagle feather will carry your prayers to God. But this eagle's got seven thousand feathers. Uh, and so. We'll get, hit, we'll get him put back in the sky. Now he'll do one of two things. He'll either soar out, gain altitude, and, and disappear. Or he, he very well may you know, circle around, land someplace to try to figure out what, where he is. Either way, we, we, we leave him. We don't go back up to him. You know, he's perfectly capable of flying. And, and so he, if he's going to figure out where he's at, then that's fine too. Okay, here's the dangerous part that I have to do. Get him out of the box. <laughs> you know, they, they, have, they have a very, very strong fight or flight instinct. So if they can't escape, then they will attack you. And, and so getting him out of the box is the hard part. You still have the hood on? Oh, you still have the hood on. Good boy. And the, and the secret of getting him out of the box is I got to get a hold of those feet and you don't hesitate. Because if I miss, I'm going to have talons through my hand. And then the next stop is going to be the hospital. So we're going to get him just like that. There we go. There we go, big boy. Yes, you are. So you'll carry him down around. I will carry him down and around. So we don't have to worry about that. And, um, and what you're going to do is you're gonna you're just gonna hold him just like I've got him right here. Just kind of down a little bit, just kind of hold him up nice, nice, nice and snug, and and, and you'll be perfectly safe. Is that work for everybody? I can do that. Okay. Come on around and we'll uh, get down here past the fence. So you, I, I would let you do that, but it's kind of rocky and stuff, and if you trip like that, you you know, with, with me I trip and I grip the eagle stronger. I don't. Uh, you know, but if you slip and you lose grip, 
uh, you're going to get hurt. You know, I, I've been doing this for 50 years, and in 50 years, nobody's gotten a scratch but me. This is a great place to release him. Now the breeze is coming from this way. And so, okay. you ready? Okay. There's your eagle. He's got those feet. Okay, hold him down just a little bit, right about there. Okay. I got, him. got him? I got him. All right. When, if you can, turn just a little bit. Yeah. So you can and like I said, you don't have to throw him fast. You can you can take a minute and, and enjoy this experience. It's uh, there's my baby, there's my boy. Yeah, that's a great boy. Yeah, you're fine. That's a good boy. Yeah, you're just fine. Okay. And I'm going to move away from you. I think you've got everything s stable, and so we can. I'll just kind of move over here a bit and see okay. checking things out. Sure. He's finding his spot. Are you ready to go? Got a much better view up here. Mm -hmm. Ready to go? I can see you and him above the phone, so I'm getting a good view. All right, I think we're ready. We're gonna go. Are you ready? Here we go. He told me what to do. Let's hope it works out fine. It will. Isn't that nice?